I went back to the range and picked up a few bits, so stay tuned for this teeny weeny little range haul. It's all crafty. <laughs> Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland, it's Fiona here and today I have got another little haul for you from the range. It's just a tiny tiny one but I wanted to show you anyway. If you watched my weekend vlog you will have seen that I managed to persuade Jack to take me to the range while we were out and about and I picked up a few bits. To be honest I didn't expect them to have anything left really in the Christmas range but it was all laid out a lot better than it had been when I tried to get Christmas sale items on the 27th of December. So it was much better and I ended up getting mostly Christmas things. You know what I'm like, I will be doing Christmas crafts from next month anyway, so it will definitely not go to waste. Right, let's get on with it. I have got my receipt so I will give you all the prices. And it is a small haul, it all fits into one of their bags. <laughs> Now this has to be the bargain of the day. It's like a sort of square shadow box type thing and it says traditional sleigh, sleigh rides Santa's Lane and my thinking there is I will either keep it as it is and add little bits to it or I will take all of this off and just reuse the actual box frame. I'm not sure yet but it was such a bargain because it was originally Two ninety nine, but it had seventy five percent off. So I got this for seventy five pence. Seventy five pence for this frame. Definitely the bargain of the day. I got some fur trim. Look at this. Ooh, they didn't have any white, unfortunately. Uh, it looks a bit like Chewbacca, doesn't it? <laughs> they had a dark grey, and they had this, and I thought that would be really good for making gonks. You know me and gonks. And this was. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm looking, it must be here somewhere, hmm, I don't think she's put that through, I cannot see it on the receipt at all, it wasn't self-service, it was a lady who did it, so I can't be held responsible if I've got a freebie, no, I definitely cannot see it, I can't remember how much it was, it was about 150 I think, um, but there's quite a bit, 2.7 metres of this fur trim, and I thought the size of it is excellent for doing gonks as well. So yeah, maybe this is a bargain of the day then because I got it for nothing. <laughs> I got some white letter tiles. I've seen so many different crafts that can be done with like the Scrabble type tiles. So I picked these up. There's a hundred in here. This wasn't on sale, um, but it was only 149 for the hundred of them. And you might have seen in other hauls, I did pick up different colours as well. But I've seen loads of things with these, so when I saw them there, I thought I'm going to get them. And talking of letter tiles, I also picked up this one. It's like pink holographic letter tiles. I don't know how many... Oh, 150 pieces in this one. This was a pound with 50% off, so it was 50 pence. They're definitely... They're not wood. They're more like foam. And they're smaller than the, the other ones. But still, for 50 pence, yay. I think they'll look lovely in like something with resin. Ooh. Christmas napkins and their gonks. <laughs> These were originally £1.29. They were 50% off, so I got them for 64 pence. And I just think they're gorgeous. going to use these for like decoupage and things or I don't know. I'll find lots of uses for them. I'm in my happy place, Christmas and gonks. I picked up a tin of snow spray while I saw it there. I did get a tin last year. I think Granny Annie's nabbed it, to be honest. I didn't see it when I was doing my big clear out. Um, but it was one twenty nine with 50% off, so I got 64 pence for a tin of snow paint. I didn't say on it that how much it had off it, so I didn't want to pick up too many of them. But I wish I'd picked up a couple now, because that never goes wrong when you're doing Christmas crafts. We're nearly there already, I told you it was just a little haul. I'm doing Valentine things at the moment and when I saw that gorgeous little wooden heart, I thought I can tart that up to make it absolutely stunning. 
and again it wasn't on sale but it was only 75 pence so yeah look out and we will find out what I do with this I've got a few things in mind and finally this looked a little bit different it's a snowman cross latch kit now I did latch hooking uh, a couple of years ago and really enjoyed it and the kits were really quite expensive so I didn't pick any more up and I wasn't really sure what to do with them once they were finished and then I saw this and I thought oh it looks like a cross between latch hooking and cross stitch I have got no idea don't know what we do with it at all but I'm hoping there's instructions inside it says the kit includes seven colours of yarns photo instructions linen cloth a embroidery ring and needle. Now this one was, it was originally £4.59 but it was 50% off so I got it for £2.49. Brilliant price, cannot complain at that. I'm actually going to open it just now and we'll have a wee look together to see what's, what's in it. Again, I should have picked up more if I'd known how much it was. That is one thing the range are quite guilty of is not pricing things very well. So we have got our embroidery hoop which as I mentioned in my last haul from the range there's lots of crafts you can do with them as well but I think this one I will keep for this craft oh my goodness the yarn is quite bulky so we've got a nice blue it's very soft as well so we've got a blue a white and then like odds and ends of pink black orange red and green oh the needle looks very different it doesn't look like a latch hook needle and it certainly isn't a cross stitch needle so this is going to be new take it out and have a proper look oh, I'm looking forward to starting this now so it's got a little hole there and it's got a, quite a sharp point so I'm assuming the the yarn goes through the hole and then you put it up and down through the cloth because the cloth is already printed how does it go that way so put it in the hoop and then it's it looks a bit like Ada but you can't actually see the holes it's uh, like very close together strands whereas Ada you know how you can see the holes that your needle goes in and out you can't really see the holes there let's have a look and see what the instructions say right so there's instructions on how to put it into the hoop I can do that much ah where did my wee needle go? So looking at this, the yarn goes in the hollow end of the needle and then comes out at the point, I think. Ooh. I hope this tutorial is on YouTube because this looks quite complicated. Wait till I put my glasses on. Wait till I put my eyes on. Right, it says the oblique side of the needle is forward. What's an oblique side? I don't know. <laughs> and the needle is pressed hard until the needle sticks to the cloth surface. Lift the needle up gently. Keep the point of the needle against the surface of the cloth. Do not leave the cloth too high. Move the needle slightly and repeat the steps until the entire area is filled with stitches. So is it a bit like punch needle? thing i've seen people doing that i don't know then it says punch small color blocks first then larger color blocks that's the instructions maybe i'm not looking forward to doing this <laughs> i thought it would be a wee bit more straightforward than that what is an oblique side is that the oblique side or is that the oblique side i don't know <laughs> comment down below i've got no idea i really hope there's some tutorials on youtube for this because i've not got a clue what to do there's no help on we'll youtube find out. <laughs> there's no stay tuned to my channel and i will give you an update if i figure out how to do it um yeah so that is everything that i got at the range today and it looks like i've got a freebie because i've basically ticked off everything that's on the receipt other than the carrier bag, I had bags in the car and totally forgot to take one in with me. So I got the reusable carrier bag, but other than that, 
everything's accounted for. So, yay, thank you to the range. I'm not going all the way back to Paisley to take this back or to say, I'm sorry, but you didn't charge me for this because it would cost a lot more in diesel than it costs for the actual thing. So thank you to the range. <laughs> I'm not sponsored, but they have given me a freebie. Anyway, other than that, I think this is definitely a bargain. 75 pence. Again, if I'd known it was only 75 pence, I would have definitely picked up more. They had loads of them. So the next time I go back, I'm going to see if they've got more of them because this bit would come off quite easy and the rest of it can easily be sanded and painted. So I wouldn't need to keep it the same. I might keep it the same and just add like a few little Christmas trees and some snow, maybe some lights. I don't know. You know what I'm like. I like to just embellish things. So we'll wait and see. Anyway, I'm havering. So I hope you've enjoyed this haul. If so, do hit the thumbs up button, talk to me in the comments below, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell button so that you get a notification when I upload videos so you can find out how I get on with that punch cross stitch thing. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in our next one. Bye!